More Americans jumping on board the Trump train as he lays out his aggressive agenda for 2018, but Democrats still raging against the machine of optimism. Millions of Americans have recognized that Donald Trump is detrimental to our nation. The vast majority of our people have a very different vision for the future of our country than what Trump and the Republican leadership are giving us. It was dangerous what he said last night, and it has instilled fear, as I say over and over. What he is doing brings tears to the eyes of the Statue of Liberty. So why can't they get on board with good things happening for America? Here now, host of The Blaze TV, Lawrence Jones. Lawrence, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Good morning, Heather. I, I've certainly been wanting to talk to you since the State of the Union. What was your you know, initial reaction when he was giving this speech? He was talking about great things happening for all Americans. And then you pan over and you have all these Democrats clearly looking um, disgusted, not standing up. What were you thinking? Well, I, the first thing that came to mind is that they are literally uh, rooting against America by being so anti-Trump. Uh, Look, whether you agree with the president or not with his personality traits, you can't deny what the president has done for the American people, which is why you see so many pe people excited about the tax cuts, why, why you see so many ex excited about the president trying to secure our border. But Democrats would prefer to put politics over, um, you know, what's best for the American people. If you look at Senator J Joe Manchin, mm -hmm. he was sitting there. He wanted to clap. Uh, you see him trying to get out of his seat. And he looks at his other colleagues and he sits down. There was, a, there was so someone, much... yeah, there was someone actually online who, one yeah. of the journalists who was in the room, and he said that uh, Chuck Schumer was literally shushing him when he would stand up. Wow. He said it happened at least twice. It's unbelievable. It's, it's rooting against the American people. And it, we know from the CBS poll that a lot of independent voters supported the president's speech. You know, they have said they wanted the president to temper, uh, go down with his tone. And the president delivers a well thought out speech. He didn't attack anybody. He didn't go on on Twitter. And they still can't even applaud this speech. Mm -hmm. they, they sure did attack him afterwards. I know Bernie Sanders called him a bully. He said he, you know, he should have talked about climate change. Uh, one of the other incidents that stood out to me are when the president started talking about immigration. Clearly, the uh, Democrats were prepared to immediately start booing. But then, as he was speaking, he adjusted the family impacted by the MS-13 gang members, and they had to shush themselves immediately. Yeah, and, and they didn't even want to give the, the due credit to the president for acknowledging uh, what that family went through. There was not a dry eye in homes across America, mm -hmm. but yet they st couldn't put politics aside for the American people. You look, I, let me tell you, the president is giving the Democrats a lot when it comes to immigration. A lot of people in his base are disappointed when it comes to amnesty, and yet the Democrats are still upset. They call this a whitewashing of America, yet... Uh, the president is willing to give amnesty and the right to vote, which is what Democrats are about, to 1.8 million uh, illegals in this country. And they can't celebrate that. Yeah, they don't seem to understand the, the art of compromise. Both sides are never going to get everything that they want. That's why it's called compromise. What about the members of the Congressional Black Caucus not standing when the president talk about, uh, talked about the record numbers for unemployment for uh, African-Americans? Heather, they are so typical. We're talking about many people in uh, the, the Congressional Black uh, Caucus that are millionaires that never put their citizens first. You know, it's so interesting to me how the Congressional Black Caucus could team up with the Democratic leadership to shut down the government over illegals in America, yet black folks vote for the Democratic Party 90 percent of the time, and they've never shut down the government for black folks, issues that are affecting the black community. And I think black folks are watching, uh, Heather, and I think they will be responsive in the next election. You know, a lot of Americans are getting ready to get these tax cuts in February, including the black community. Uh, so I wonder how they're going to respond mm -hmm. to those black voters in February when they get those tax cuts. Yeah, I hope that people, you know, African-Americans, Hispanics, everyone actually listen and pay attention to what's going on. And they don't just watch like reactions from our political leaders like what happened. Uh, Lawrence, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks. Of course, Thanks love having you here. See you soon.